This video contains major spoilers for Subnautica. If you don't want to be spoiled, click away. I'll leave a link in the description for another video that doesn't contain spoilers. Now, let's get on to the video. My name is the ZA1243 is cool and welcome back to Sonatica. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a mod that basically adds in some commands for the rocket instead of just spawn rocket base and you have to click everything. As you can see on the top left, I almost said top right for some reason. That says commands rocket finish, rocket stage number, rocket advanced, rocket size, how big I want it. I am not gonna be doing that. Also, I brought the graphics up a little bit more so you can enjoy the game a bit more, but it's going to be a little bit more laggy, but I prefer uh, quality over quantity in a game like this, like a qual more feeling graphics than good performance, so i give you more stuff to enjoy. So yeah, before we get into this video, will you please hit that like button, we, uh, uh if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you are new because we are almost at 100 subscribers we're at 96 we can get there come on we're so close that would mean i don't know how much it would mean to me so anyway if you watched my video from the other day about the new sonatica bug it is fixed now so there's that and if you've been watching my videos for a while well not for a while Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, I do have a rocket all the way over there because I saved accidentally for one of my videos and I didn't feel like deleting the entire save just because of the rocket, so I just turned the beacon off and try my best not to look at it during the video so you don't see it. And anyway, I should probably actually get into the video and stop rambling. First is my console. Right. So, I should probably go into a deeper biome like the group uh, dunes, so that's where I'll go now. Okay, so hello and welcome to the dunes. We are very far away from everything else. And very... I'm at the surface because I don't feel like dealing with the reaper. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's gone. So anyway, I'm going to open up my console here and type... Oh, that's weird, so I'm gonna... I feel like it lags more when I look at the water, so I'll just look down. And I'm gonna do Rocket Advanced to see if that'll work, even though I don't have anything advanced. If, if I couldn't spell it while it's on screen, it's on the wrong one. Okay, so... Doesn't work without anything, so I'm gonna do Rocket Stage. And it says number, so I'm assuming that means one. Okay, so the music played. Do I need the rocket base? Nah, that would probably help. What did that do? Nothing. Did I just spawn the gantry into the air? It was like that when I got. So I should probably spawn uh, the rocket base and spawn rocket base. Spawn inside it, kind of, and let it float to the surface. I should do a how to make the rocket launch underwater video because you easily can. Now, let's try the uh, rocket advanced command again. There we go. We've gone through the surface. Let's make another rocket. This game is beautiful. I love this game so much. All right, so I'm gonna do rocket advance. I think it before I put advance. There we go. Yeah, that's handy. So, if you don't feel like doing this legitimately, and you don't feel like typing everything, you just go to your base and just do the next command. Yeah, you just do it. Is there an eclipse? Yep. Kind of. Now I'm gonna do it over. Oh, basically, auto. Completes it. When? Huh? Kind of broke it. It's like, oh, we're done. Neptune One rocket online. Oh, did I accidentally put one of the things on that one? Oops. Do rocket advance again. That. Oh, yeah. 
What is this console terminal thing gonna say? Oh, it actually says constructing. But the robots aren't flying over there. That's. Eh. My developer, I would do that if I were you. Just have the robots just fly up and do it. Neptune one rocket online. Man, I love that sound. Now let's color it. I am a fan of dark colors, so let me bring up the saturation. I believe that is so. Like I love dark red and dark blue. I should make it daytime, so you can actually see. Oh, wow, that looks pretty nice. Ow. There you go. I'm going to just tell you the color code so I can just copy it down in case I run mess up. And how about a lighter blue? Right, right here. For the bottom and for the second stripe. Can be blue. Oh, that can make red so it stands out. No, that would make it look ugly. And it doesn't really matter name it can be what color should I make it red so it stands out what should I name it the planet I'll click to edit click the planet escape good enough cuz that's abbreviated for escape didn't mean to do that. Ah, good. Now, now let's launch the rocket. I like how this turns from a mod showcase to showing you the uh, ending of Sonatica. So, yeah, you're welcome. There is this mod that I'm gonna be. Uh, uh, I probably shouldn't say this because this could come up before. Uh oh. What? There's this mod that basically makes everything contaminated with radiation, like the air, uh, the water, uh, fruit on, on the islands, island, and it basically makes it harder survival. Why? Oh, I like it. I think the rocket gantry slightly pushes the rocket to its side as it launches, as it goes up. Okay, so. Things on its side now, which is just great. I'm gonna call it down, but I am not going to, uh. Know, just to balance out the weight, whatever. I am not going to go up because I'll just fall through. Okay, so I got out of the rocket. I teleported up using free cam and then just typed warp in my coordinates. Okay, that was wrong. If you want my coordinates, here you go. Like, that's gonna help. Uh, I like the water. Even though it causes my computer to lie. Anyway, let's launch the rocket. There should be a rocket. I can. An option, a command that does everything for you, like all the things. Auxiliary power unit online. Yeah, there should be like a command that automatically does all the unit and stuff, like the communications, time capsule, primary CPU. Communications systems array active. I love that uh, sound slash voice, so good job, sound developer, for Sonatica, whoever you are. You did a good job. Pressurizing hydraulics. Now let's climb up the ladder. Climb up the ladder. I want the uh, expansion, because it looks so cool. Devs, if you're watching, give can I be a play tester? Come on.
They're probably not gonna accept me as the playtester. Primary computer systems active. Yeah, I'm staying quiet so you can uh, just watch the animations. The uh thing. I'm going to say all systems are go for liftoff, but launch rocket while quarantine. Enforcement platform is still active. I was gonna say that, but I have a git around for that. Well, com another command that isn't from this mod. It's from the game itself. It's cool. You just type in the console all one word, force rocket ready. I've made a video about that before, but here you go. Let's see launch without the gun being disabled. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time capsule jettison. Caution approaching orbital debris field. Orbital debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in 3, 2, one. What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different, but we go together. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video of Sonatka Mods, be sure to hit the like button. And subscribe if you're new, because we are almost at 100 subscribers, and we are at 96, I almost at 7, which means we're almost far away. So come on, let's get there guys, come on, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Let it go, let it go.